What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here, and welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus check update, daily news, what's going on in Washington, D.C., what's going on in the United States, and what's going on with the next stimulus package, which will be the largest stimulus package yet to date at $3.5 trillion. It has passed the motion to proceed in the Senate. It has then proceeded on to the House of Representatives, and the House is now coming back from their recess, and they will be coming back tomorrow, actually, and could be starting the voting process. I'll actually be giving you some information from Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, in this video. Video and what she's saying about what will be going on with the next stimulus package, about the amount of the next stimulus package and um, the proceedings on the next stimulus package. So we got some pretty interesting information on uh, the next stimulus package, the American Families Plan. So uh, yeah, remember new videos come out here on our show every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And let's jump right in. We got a lot to cover. Okay, first up, we got some interesting information from the world's richest man. Well, he goes back and forth being the world's richest man and the second world's richest man, Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla, the electric car co company, as well as SpaceX and, well, several other different companies. Elon Musk has actually just come out in support of universal basic income which is basically um, a form of monthly stimulus checks, universal basic income or guaranteed income, um, which is actually programs of forms of universal basic income are actually going out um, in dozens and dozens of cities across the United States right now. Check out what Elon Musk, the world's richest man, he's actually worth over $200 billion dollars, had to say about universal basic income. Yeah, you can see here. So Elon Musk says that we need universal basic income because in the future, physical work will be a choice. Yeah, and it may not actually be for the reason that you think. Check this out. Tesla CEO Elon Musk is stepping behind the universal basic income movement, which is actually catching on a lot of people are supporting universal basic income, which is basic, ju basically just the government providing um, basic income or monthly checks, um, monthly stimulus checks, or actually child tax credits, uh, the monthly checks that the government sends out for those child tax credits, so $250 to $300 per month, is a form of universal basic income. Uh, yeah, so monthly stimulus checks or child tax credits, um, universal basic income, all are pretty much the same kind of thing. Yeah, so again, Elon Musk is stepping behind or in support of universal basic income movement because of the potential rise of robots. In fact, he's working on one himself. During a Thursday presentation on artificial intelligence hosted by Tesla, Elon Musk says he's working on creating a Tesla bot. Tesla is one of the um, most successful com companies in the world. You could buy Tesla stock, and they're worth billions and billions and billions of dollars. Or a robot that would do dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. So humans don't have to. Of course, we all know that robots now... Um, millions and millions of robots across the world now do the jobs that humans used to. But Elon Musk recognizes that the creation of robots might take the place of jobs that people are currently getting paid for, which they already kind of do in many, many jobs across the United States or across the world, which is why he said that a guaranteed income will likely be necessary in the future as more and more robots take the place of humans. Think about going to the grocery store, going to Walmart. How many um, checkout lines are now replaced by scan it yourself checkout lines? Yeah, it's becoming more and more popular. Think about um, car manufacturing lines. How many of those um, 
that used to be done by humans are now just simply replaced by robots. Well, we're seeing this done all, literally just everything is just being automated more and more and more and more. And as this happens, more and more jobs get replaced by robots. And it's just, I don't think there's anything that can be done by this. It's just a trend that is happening more and more as things happen. Elon Musk says, essentially, in the future, physical work will be a choice, he says during the presentation. This is why I think long term, there will be a need to be a universal basic income, which means that the government will have to support some kind of basic income, a universal basic income, a floor, basically provide a minimum amount to support everybody's basic needs if a certain amount of jobs go away and um, there's not enough jobs to go around because everything is replaced or a, a lot of jobs are replaced by robots. Think about assembly lines for cars, completely replaced by robots. Think about grocery stores, Walmart. Um, well, we have Giant Eagle here. You might not hear where you in what state you are. But think about if all the grocery stores and all the checkout lines, all the Walmarts, all the Amazons, if the more, majority of jobs just get replaced by jobs. This is the world's richest man saying this. Again, he said, this is why I think long term there will need to be a universal basic income. While Elon Musk's robots have not taken over yet, businesses across the country have turned to automation rather than paying humans for work. For example, Business Insider previously reported that restaurants struggling to hire workers for months have turned to QR codes where diners can view menus rather than having a waiter bring them one. In addition, Cracker Barrel rolled out a mobile app that lets customers pay for meals. McDonald's has started testing automated drive through ordering at 10 Chicago locations. And Dave & Buster's plans to expand its contactless ordering, effectively getting rid of many restaurant jobs that humans once did. If this trend continues, it's likely that universal basic income will become a larger part of this conversation. Some cities have already started testing out pilot universal basic income programs for targeted group of restaurants. And California recently launched the nation's largest statewide universal basic income program prioritized for pregnant people and those aging out of the foster system. Again, that was a California statewide universal basic income program uh, that is starting off small, but again, it is the first state to pass a statewide universal basic income program. And it is a step in the direction of universal basic income growing larger. And after the pandemic spurred Congress to approve three different stimulus checks for Americans, some Democrats called to continue those checks well beyond the end of the pandemic. And during infrastructure negotiations, 21 Democratic senators urged President Joe Biden in a letter to include reoccurring direct payments in the infrastructure package that they are working on right now, saying that when the checks ran out after the CARES Act, poverty rose. Now, guaranteed income or universal basic income programs are going on right now through the Mayors for Guaranteed Income program, as we have discussed several times on this show, as you can see in these cities across the United States. If you want to look up this program, it's called the Mayors for a Guaranteed Income. You can go to their website after you're done watching the show. But they are in dozens and dozens of cities across the United States. And more cities are literally opening up almost every single month. Now, most of these cities are in small amounts, anywhere from hundreds to thousands of people per cities. But as I said, more cities are opening up almost every single month. And... California is the first state to open up a statewide sponsored program. The average amount that these guaranteed income programs pay in these cities is anywhere from around $500 per month to around $1,500 per month. Each of these cities has di different qualifications. And uh, like I said, there are different qualifications and different amounts of people that get it and different amounts of money that they get. But they're around anywhere from $500 per month to around $1,500 per month on the average. 
This has sparked the interest of Congresswoman Ilhan Omar that has proposed a bill for guaranteed income or monthly checks, monthly stimulus checks, whatever you want to call it, uh, with an actual bill that has been introduced by Representative Ilhan Omar for $1,200 monthly checks, whether you call them stimulus checks, guaranteed income, universal basic income, it's all pretty much the same thing. $1,200 monthly payments to adults making under $75,000 and $600 monthly checks for children, again, making under $75,000. This would be on a nationwide program, and this could be something that happens in the future as well. Now, for the fourth stimulus check, there is a lot of support from the Democrats. In fact, there's over 80 different Democrats that have spoken out publicly or even wrote letters to the, uh, the president in at some point in the past or in near the present um, from the House of Representatives and there is 28 Democrats from the Senate, which is actually over half of the senators that have been in support of even monthly recurring stimulus checks from the Senate, which is, again, there's 50 Democratic senators in the Senate. So this is actually over half of the Senate that have been in support of monthly recurring stimulus checks from the Senate. There is actually a bill from the Senate that actually pushes for $2,000 monthly stimulus checks from Senator Ed Markey and Senator Elizabeth Warren that would go until the pandemic is declared over, which we thought would be the end of this year, about a month or two ago when the cases were at an all-time low at only five or 10,000 cases uh, per day. But now there were over 100,000 cases per day on average or even 150,000 on average well, it's probably the pandemic's probably not going to end at the end of this year, which is only three and a half months away now at this point. Uh, so, yeah, this bill would actually be pretty awesome if we were to get $2,000 monthly stimulus checks. Uh, again, the bill from the Senate by Ed Markey and Elizabeth Warren. Now, the bill that's been introduced in the House of Representatives by Democratic Representative Rashida Tlaib and also co-authored by Democratic per, uh, Representative Pramila Jayapal, who's the leader of the Democratic Progressive Caucus, would call for a one-time $2,000 stimulus check, then followed by $1,000 monthly payments that would go until not only the pandemic ends, but would actually go until one year after the pandemic is declared over because the economic recovery would likely go on for a long time, even when the pandemic is declared over. Because remember, in 2008, 2009, the economic recovery took four to five years. So we're actually dealing with a virus and the economic recovery. So this particular bill would be $1,000 re recurring checks that would go until one year after the pandemic is declared over. So there is actually a lot of support from the Democratic side for a fourth stimulus check at the bare minimum, a single stimulus check, if not monthly recurring stimulus check. We've had a lot of support from economists saying that not only does it help out the American people, but it really helps out the economy. It's like a vitamin B12 shot for the economy. And um, it really has helped out the economy in the past. It basically prevented a 1929 crash from happening. And um, it has really helped out basically the whole economic collapse from happening. I mean, we shut down our, co our country and it didn't have an economic collapse. I mean, think about that. We actually shut down the entire country and our stock market didn't collapse. You almost got to say, you can almost single-handedly um, thank the stimulus packages. You know, I mean, because we shut the country down. So think about if they weren't pumping trillions and trillions of dollars into the economy with stimulus checks um, unemployment bonuses, pumping money into Wall Street, buying bonds, because the Fed is doing stimulus too. Uh, they're buying bonds and all sorts of things there. And all these stimulus packages, this unemployment bonuses, the rent assistance, all the things that has been done, the food assistance, SNAP assistance, rent assistance, internet assistance. I mean, there's been a lot of things done from all these different stimulus packages. 
And really, as you can see on the screen here, there's a lot of things that could be done for this next package that they're discussing right now for this next package. In fact, you can see on the green here, there's things that they've recently passed um, here actually within the last few weeks. Um, they passed even before the next stimulus package is passed. Um, they passed the eviction moratorium that's passed until October 3rd. They've paused all federal student loans until January 31st. That is actually going to help over 40 million people um, that have federal student loans. The student loans, they just forgave over $8.8 billion in student loans. There's been five different rounds of student loans that are forgiven. They have not forgiven all student loans. It's been mostly for students with disabilities and for students that their schools have defrauded them or the schools that have closed on them. And we just this past, within the last few days, had the permanent 25% SNAP increase or food stamp increase, which is the largest increase in the history of the SNAP program, which is honestly uh, pretty amazing that they did that without even putting it in the stimulus package. Um, so that's actually good because that actually those several things right there that they did uh, actually frees up more room for the next stimulus package. And of course, we have a lot of the additional money here um, that is going to be probably in this next stimulus package, all these additional things here. Um, they passed these other four things here kind of with um, without even putting it in the next stimulus package. So they kind of took those things out of the stimulus package, passed it on their own, really just through um, just through really president order. Um, SNAP did it through the, the FDA, the USDA, and the student loans, just the president just kind of did it. I don't even know how he did it because it wasn't through an executive order, just kind of announced it. Um, so we have a lot of stimulus kind of even being passed without congressional approval. So, and the pause on student loans, over 40 million people there, 42 million people have been helped through the SNAP increase. And um, really the next stimulus package is going to be the largest stimulus package ever. And the House is coming back tomorrow to start working on that and start the voting process. So really things are kind of uh, moving forward here pretty quickly. This is going to be a very big week going forward in the House of Representatives. So yeah, this will be a very big week in the house. Do not miss any videos at this point. Remember, new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern is standard time. Make sure to subscribe down below. It's completely free to do so. After subscribing, you can click the bell icon that appears after you click subscribe and click it to all notifications to get reminder notifications when we go live with new videos. Um, and I'll keep you up to date with everything going on with the next stimulus package going on with the United States and our economy and going on in Washington, D.C. You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this video teaches you how to start your own business. I've had dozens of students that have replaced their nine to five income selling products on Amazon. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys. And I will see you in the next video.